Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and we are back in Motorsport Manager with Vexala Motorsport in uh, Tier 2. And uh, so far we have had massive amounts of maybe unwarranted success. I'm not quite sure how this is all working out with a car that is the 8th uh, in the field out of 10. Uh, yes, pretty impressive, especially Pinot. Carlos, yeah! Also, it seems like Maya broke her neck. That is less good. Oh, and I see Carlos has been on a diet. Look at it. I mean, Maya is completely fat and, and yeah, she's getting old too, like 32 and fat. And Carlos here, yeah, he's slim as a, uh, as a straight line. Uh, zero kilos, very impressive. Maybe that's why he's so fast. Anyway, we have plenty of emails to get through, so let's make it happen. Uh, we have car condition update. Uh, not too bad. And interview. Oh, no, not interview again. All right, let's do this interview. Oh, new questions? What the hell? That's that's new. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, the, the brakes are holding us back. Like everything else in the car? Can I... Why can't I answer that? Oh, okay, okay. Maybe they revamped it in the recent patch. Um, so that, now it seems there seems to be some some other stuff going on. The uh, GT um, update has just launched. Uh, DLC 10, 10 bucks around ish, and uh, that one has added uh, GT championships two tiers. Uh, I haven't purchased this one yet. Uh, maybe I will. I'm still not through this one, obviously, so I see no need to get the new one. Um, even though it has curves and all kinds of shit if you really want to. But, uh, yeah, this was a much more reasonable question. And she is more happy now. So, Dodgy Neck, how long? Eight weeks? Oh no, that's like three races. Our season is a little bit more packed this time around in the new tier. And we just finished building a new rear wing. Ah, that's good to know. So maybe I want to cram out another one really fast because they are so quick to build. Let's see. So we need to design a new part and rear wing now available is good. And build time is only 4.9 days as a base. And yeah, look at this. This is really good. It takes a few more days, 9 days, but that is still... And 45 as a result. Yeah, that's pretty good overall. And we get some hard... Uh, hard values added to it, not um, something we need to improve much upon, uh, un well, uh, apart from the reliability, that is. So let's go for this one and then make a slightly harder to make one, which takes more than just nine days. Um, maybe... No, no, we maybe some breaks. <laughs> now that Carlos has has mentioned that he he doesn't like them, uh, maybe we should uh, improve on them. Indeed. All right, let's build this part. All right, our car repair has finished. So now let's quickly check out where we are. Um, quite a long time we once again ago since I played this game. So let's uh, let me um, remind myself where we are in regards to reliability and new parts. Alright, I think this is viable. Uh, I want to improve these just a few days and then uh, focus everything on the rear, new rear wings that are coming in. And the new part will be coming in at, what was it, 45 or something? Uh, so we will have to focus quite heavily on this one for at least a few days before the race to make it, uh, to get it up to snuff. Also, we have a new sponsorship offer and wow, our drivers are so not marketable. <laughs> no matter the team marketability, which is super high, uh, yeah, no chance. We don't get over 50% unless we get some kind of events for our drivers. And I shall wait for three offers to appear here and then choose one of them. And there's some politics going on, must respond. The addition of Milan uh, Track A GP. All right. Um, well, let's uh, cur currently supporting. Oh, that's the super fast track. All right. Cool. Um, the simple layout which we already know of. 
Well, if I abstain, I don't really care. Oh, it seems like there are quite a few lot of people who care about it. Uh, everyone wants it. Are these the top speed guys, maybe? Oh, what is this about now? Uh, in favor of 15 dry tire choices in next vote. Oh, um, well, I don't really care. So, uh, I mean, I mean, give me your money. Ah, they have built in a few new uh, things here, as you can see. Ah, tooltip, very nice. Nice little done, guys. That's a, uh, a good addition, so that you can see how sucky your choices were. Thanks for reminding me. Oh, wow, our brakes are awful. We are ninth. And our rear wing is done. So this time around, oh, uh, let me let me do this first with the rear wing. I don't want to forget designing a new part straight away. Ooh, look! Oh fuck! We're still eighth, even though we are. How does that work? Can someone tell me how this works? So this is supposedly the average. This arrow, and we are eighth, and we are b above the average. How? How? <laughs> I don't... I don't get it. Are there... Are the last two ones, like, down here or something? Uh, no. No, can't be. Uh, anyway. Oh, maybe there. I don't know. Uh, anyway, we need to build something new. And really, why not look into brakes? Because this one looks amazing. We can just get the plus 20 here. And, ah, no, okay, this doesn't look amazing. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Ah, uh, yes, we could get extra deceleration for the qualifying plus 40. Not really what I want, though. I'm all focused on getting good performance in the race, not necessarily in the qualifying, because I still suck massively at running the qualifying anyway, so... Mm, uh, but this one and this one are used for like basic upgrades and they are very fast too five days only so let's build the part yes and now I wanted to check out our sponsor offers as well so let's see what kind of two-star offers we have only one two-star offer oh okay fifth or above well I, I guess it's this one then in case we fear that we can't beat um, or win or something, which is kind of every race. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's let's take this one. And of course, we need to make the rear wing reliable as well. So let's put it here and maybe make it perform better. All right, let's uh, improve these to a few days, and then I throw away this rear wing and just focus all the effort into this one. Something like this, maybe? Yeah, yeah it can continue a little while longer until it's, like, finished, the design of it, the, uh, the brakes. And there we go. Yeah, the brake design is done. So, let's take a look. 72%. Now, that's pretty decent. So now we can focus the rest into this. We don't need to improve the brakes any more, because, um we wouldn't be able to get them reliable anyway. Oh yeah, and here we go. We're traveling to Phoenix, to the US, eating hamburgers all day long. Maybe we we shall meet Dickie McSpeck. He, he should be around. Oh, look at this. This is actually a really, really good sponsor in that sense. Well, we have the second and above one, which is uh, for just a little bit more, but Let's take this one. That is so much better. And maybe we make it into the qualifying fifth position as well. <laughs> I doubt it, but... Um, at least on... Yeah? Not quite sure. Where's the start-finish line? And usually it's there, right? Should be there. And we do have a few long straights where I can warm the tires and shit. But let's take a look over here. We have a warm practice, a super hot qualifying, and then a cold race. Um, yeah, I like that. So we are going on soft tires. And let's fit a few new parts. 
Oh, we have two new rear wings we can use. Oh, that's cool. And they improved it to 83%. <laughs> it's pretty reliable. But also, we need to design another new part. Because otherwise, um, we are wasting a few days once again. The uh, brakes just finished a day or two ago. So, let's see. Maybe uh, we... Hmm. We don't have brake facilities, right? So we will never be able to get those. That is unfortunate. But overall, I think we're going for the quick option here because these brakes will be uh, very much competitive in the next race already. So, and cheap for now. Just spit them out. A quick few parts. Otherwise, our cars are set up and ready to go. So here we are, and everything is ready to race. <laughs> yeah, we're not uh, choosing uh, Oswald or... Uh, no, no, we take our usual suspects and Maya. <sighs> Less rough sex next time, please. Oh, all right, yes, uh, this will be... This will be difficult because, again, we only have six tires, sets of tires, and there's no rain coming. So um, we will need all of them, especially if we go for a free stop strategy and maybe have a safety car, then that's four. Oh, shit, yes. Uh, so only one set of soft tires for this practice, and it's a long session. <laughs> That would be tricky. Oh shit, I can't even achieve both of these at the same time, it seems. Uh, unless I go into this territory and then... Like there. Uh, that's harsh. It's really harsh. There we go. Can barely get there. And now just uh, let me remind myself that I have to switch... Oh! Now they're already on race trim. Okay, cool. Uh, they, um, yes, they remembered. Very good. So I send you out on this and these tires and we are all good. So no need to change it around, it seems. Okay, they're coming in and what do we have? Come into the garage. There we are. Oh, we found two excellent for her. Very good. Just the handling being awful. So they want to have a lot of understeer, it seems, because Carlos here is sitting at OK. And he's under the A and N, while Mayo was sitting under the D, and that was poor. So I assume overall more understeer. Let's do that. OK, I change it into this direction overall. I, uh, that might be the correct way for all of them. Might be. Probably isn't. Okay, handling much better. That's good news. Let's see what Maya is at. Oh, very good. Almost found the setup already. So I think from here we can um, just adjust it one step further like this and roll with it without wasting any more time. So I give her, let's say, eight laps and that should be good until the end of the session. And you know, ah, not quite. Interesting. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, they have improved this as well. Ah, oh, very nice. Finally, some improvements. Ah, this makes life much easier to see where they are. Cool. No more guesswork. You can see it right in the plot where we apply it. So, both of these were great. So I assume he wants to have just... Is is perfect in between there? That's my question, really. And he wants to have less speed balance. Okay. So more acceleration and maybe a little bit less top speed. All right. Let's try this one out and also send him out for a long time so that we get all the perks and eight laps should suffice, certainly. Okay, Maria is on her out lap and we shall move it to back up for both of them because I want to give them a fast lap just to see where we place roughly. Okay, now you need to uh, go into full bonkers attack. Maybe just push the tires because they uh, they seem to be a bit warm in this weather. And Venom comes in fourth right now. Uh, cut it back here, Maria. 
And Pinot, how are you doing without your broken neck? And oh, very nice. First. Best sector times everywhere. And I'm bringing Maya in so that we maybe can... Ah, Pinot needs another lap. Damn it. I should have done the opposite. Uh, oh, shit. She has a good car, though. Uh, so, mm, yes. So if we bring in him instead, I maybe want to get the level one for the qualifying. But now switching the trim over and shit, that doesn't seem right. Okay, uh, not much more was required here. So we can bring her back in again. And Pinot now goes on to a full qualifying setup. Uh, without changing much though. Let's see how much his zones are shrinking. Quite a lot. But I, I still don't know why they are supposed to be helpful. These green green sections because they are so wide that it's it's a complete crapshoot yeah no that won't work <laughs> we can just send her out again or just leave her in the pits it's fine anyway yeah, that failed all right but not too bad for the qualifying um, coming up in the practice we are dominating um, or not dominating but really up the top with our soft tires as is everyone else but um, now the qualifying, that is always scary. And we just need to try to get above fifth place. <laughs> uh, not, not easy. Ah, oh, damn it, we are still not finding the correct setup here. But we are at 98%, so it's really just a matter of, um, of luck shifting it around now and I don't want to engage in that 98% is perfectly fine I keep that and we do have two sets of tires if we want to hmm do I really want to risk that using two sets two fresh sets of tires yeah I guess so let's see how well it goes for the first set I mean it's really one set of tires for four hundred thousand dollars <laughs> if you put it in those terms it's it seems like a pretty easy decision to make okay after the next group is spawning i go out as well yes you can go out and set a time um let's do that now with you maybe or should we send out mayor first yeah maybe Maybe, maybe not. Uh, let's send you out first. Okay, I shall fuck it up as per usual. Let's see how it goes. So, there we go. And this looks like a no braking zone. So let's uh, warm up the tires. Why does the brake temperature rise? I'm not doing anything. Oh no. Now oh, he's braking again and, and shit. Uh... No! Why? What the fuck? Why are you doing that? Why are you braking so early? <laughs> that's stupid. Oh, there's a new automatic mode for that? Oh, that's interesting. Let's try it out. I mean, it can't be worse than what I'm doing. Wow! Good! What the hell? Yeah, that is actually pretty good. Let's send you out. And tire choice is all good. Yes, yes, yes. And you shall go in automatic mode too! Uh, Pinot is doing uh, reasonably well so far. Uh, less than a second off maybe? Seems like it. Oh, we found slightly overheated brake temps and perfect tire temperatures. But Maya is very slow of all. Ah, uh, 17th. Okay, that's that's really poor. And Pinot really needs to get out here, out now. Otherwise, that's uh, a chance lost. Do I want to have a new set of tires? I guess I I do want that a chance for 400k. Yeah, let's go with this. You go out and we optimize you. Auto on. Yes. And where is? 
the Maya. Maya is driving around in circles. And she's going out on the same tires because I don't know how <laughs> how long the pit stop would take. Those laps are 129. I don't think that's enough, but let's try. No, session is over. Damn it. And Pinot. No, Pinot. Why you suck so much? Ninth. Well, it was very close though. Look at how tight it was. So it was more or less a... Uh, yeah, either luck or um, you know how to qualify. And neither of these two was with me today. All right. Our level 3 uh, bonuses are chosen. And we don't have to change anything about the setup. Apart from maybe a little bit of fueling options. So let's take a closer look. 20 laps worth of fuel. I don't think so. So our tires are lasting like 9 laps. And that means I can go with... Ah, uh, Pino wants to have a little bit of extra fuel. He's, he's hungry. And Maya... Uh, also needs extra fuel, but not quite as much. And oh, and just ten laps. Uh, her tires only last eight laps. But today is reasonably cold, as you can see, so we won't have as bad overheating problems. And let the race begin. And the lights are off, and there we go. Pinot is standing still. Um, let's say everything is set. Yes. Okay. And... Uh, yes. Uh, no. Just pass him. Come on. You can do that. The question really is, can we advance to the front on this track? Because if we can't, that would be kind of terrible because we are on a... Uh, quick stop strategy and if we don't have the pace then what the fuck oh wow Pinot is picking up pace but uh, why is everyone still in front of him if he's that fast oh yes we're overtaking uh, no, not not quite uh, come on you can push yes Woo! seventh Oh, our tires are disintegrating. Only 31% left. So you can actually go on overtake mode here, as can you. Because they won't last much longer. Damn it. That is kind of scary. Ah, oh, but they are also coming in now for pit stops. I think we can do one more lap. Um, maybe Pinot is passed already. I think with a quick pit stop, uh, yes, he can do a quick pit stop and yeah, just push a fast lap now and then come in. So let's do that. Um, we can choose a new set of tires. Uh, this won't last. Ah, damn. But we have pretty good tires to use for like a final short stint, splash and dash. We can use these used tires. And um, let's go here and give him like 10 laps worth of fuel. Uh, that is more than enough, it seems. Or maybe if we want to keep it in range of something that is more viable, like a the actual stop strategy, then maybe 11 liters is more in line, especially as he's using more fuel. But let's keep it on, on the um, equal split. Yeah, I see you already really want to pit for new tires. And maybe we should just um, give you a lap, a lap early. So uh, let's do this. We give you new tires here and you have three new sets available. That's good. And she's coming in. 18th, 19th, 20th. Yes, we are in last position. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant! And Pinot is in fifth. Oh ho! But his tires are completely gone by the time he gets into the pits. Seventh, ninth, 
uh, 14th. Ah, uh, all the medium tire guys are now in front. And oh, now we are getting closer to uh, all the others. Uh, maybe they have problems with overheating tires? No, not quite yet. But uh, I can give you a little bit of extra push. And so can you. 14th, okay. Not quite as bad as previously. Maybe I just should, like, kill him and go and push a little harder so that you can pass. Uh, there we go. Out accelerate, out accelerate. Yes. No. Damn it. And. No. Yeah, finally. I think. No, now he's opening the door. What the fuck are you doing, mate? Okay. Okay. No. False. False warning. So uh, that that is all good now, I hope. He's in third. And Maya is doing her stuff back there. Mm, maybe you should conserve your tires a little bit more. And we are neither gaining nor losing ground in third position. But it's good to be there. Cruz is so damn fast. Mary is so damn slow with her broken neck. And it looks like she needs to come in for a pit stop in latest the next lap. Uh, we can pit her in this time around actually. And Pinot is making a little bit of gaining a little bit of ground. Oh fuck. Was there an arrow made? Ah damn it. Uh, Pinot is gaining a little bit of ground on Navarro, the fourth place right now. We have to keep an eye here on an eye on his fuel. Seems like his tires are lasting though. Like one more lap, that should be good. Uh, if it's just one more lap, hmm. This is lap 17. Uh, yes, we are already past the eight lap mark, and one more lap. That's all good. So if we just last, oh, is this showing what the leader's position is? Yeah, uh, that's that's correct. So it's the 17th lap and the 18th after that. So if we go into the pits now, uh, then we have uh, how many laps left? I don't know. Doesn't matter. We need to push. We need to push. We can afford it. And now we need to uh, plan our pit stop as well. So Pinot is coming in on his last set of tires and we shall add fuel so that it's just about enough plus one liter because he uses extra. What should we give him two so that he can rise faster? What is what is his part conditions? Engine is suffering a bit as is the front wing. So now, now we're not going to give him much extra. And Pinot's coming in on a fastest lap. <laughs> Very nice. And you go on medium and then uh, neutral. That should be good. Oh, good pit stop. Excess fuel. Yes, 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 we know. Um, but you are needing a little bit of extra fuel anyway. In 10th position. Ah, damn it. But basically all of the others still need to come in. So that's that's fine. All right, we're in fifth position again. Nice, nice, nice. Push, push, push. And everyone in front of him still needs to come in. Oh shit. This is looking good. This is looking really good. And we are in third position. And the two guys in front still need to come in. Okay, and we still have excess fuel, but I don't want to burn up my tires all too quickly. And we're in second place. Yes, yes, and number one still needs to come in. Ooh, I just hope they are not getting crazy mode now with their um, fresh tires and trying to take me out on the last few laps in insane amounts of speed. Um, 
This is all good. Benenen is not doing so good. Okay, number one is coming into the pits and we are poised to win this race with Pino. Now we do have a comfortable cushion. Oh fuck the front wing. Uh, we ignore it for now and hope for the best. Uh, 11 seconds. Yeah, he's still doing fine. He is still doing fine. Two laps remaining. And Venonen has troubles with her tires. Ah, fuck. Can you, can you get through? I mean, if we choose back up, then maybe. Oh, and the rear wing! Ah, oh, fucking hell! Everything is falling apart! Not now! Okay, final lap for Pinot. Uh, that is... 17% and the engine is almost blowing up as well. Oh, fucking hell. Okay, um... And, oh, wow! Everything is kind of fucked for her. And she has... One and a half laps left? Uh, can we, like, back off or something? Oh, I will be overtaken, though, with these stats for the car, it seems. 11th, yeah, 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 no, but I can't. And she's on low fuel, too. Oh, will she even make it? What the hell is going on? Does she have a leak or something? And Pinoy is number one! He didn't explode. And Maya is still in 11th. Come on, come on. You do have enough fuel, right? So, uh, uh, hi. Go, go, go. Don't let yourself be overtaken. Yes, 11th. Woo. Uh, doesn't matter because we don't get any points, but uh, just for the morale. Just for the morale. Yes. And Pinot is such a beast. Man, he's winning races. Oh, she had a 10 lap stint, the last one, yep. That explains a lot. And I think we even sent her out with one lap too little fuel or something. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. And scrutineering complete. Of course, we have broken no rules, but oh! Someone has been demoted. Doesn't help us. And there we go. Wow, 17 points gap now for Carlos. That's amazing. And in the Constructor Championship, we have a 19-point gap. Uh, if only Maya would be as good as Pinot. Yeah, we do need a new driver. And here we have all the tweets. Yeah, made it look easy with a broken neck and shit. Uh, but Carlos did well. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and here we have some of the results. Now we are back to 100% happiness for our chairman. Uh, we needed to come 8th and we are 1st. So that's good. And all the money, we didn't get the full bonus though, that is a bummer. Damn qualifying, why can't we just put everything into the race? <laughs> that would be much better for us. And in the championship, Maya is still 8th, Bino is still 1st. Uh, but was she 8th before or 7th? I think she was 8th. Anyway, so now let's uh, continue and uh, it is saving and you know what that means! It means that uh, I hope you enjoyed and also I hope to see you guys next time!